wanted to be faster, stronger, better, like in that bad song? Well, don't worry, not Billy. Just take some weird looking pills and say goodbye to your penis. It's time to learn about steroids for ships, otherwise known as engineers. As there are plenty of things to cover, to be a true elite, you must know at least a few tips and tricks about it. So, listen up, here's some of my wisdom. First off, most of us want to engineer our ships as a whole, not by just one part alone. But even so, the first thing you should always engineer is the FSD. And as for reasoning, well, it's very simple. Since these engineers seem to really like to live in buttfuck nowhere and ask you to bring them Fabergé eggs or alike, getting from point A to B is easiest when your ship is not like a fat kid on sports day. That is, fat, heavy and out of breath after the first two morning Twinkies. So, because you unlock Farseer almost immediately, she provides you with the grade 5 FSD upgrades right off the gate, making your potentially garbage jump range on the gunship into something at the very least bearable. But beware, you still need at least scout rank in exploration, that is the third rank by the way, just to be invited by the old hag and to unlock her you need to present the bitch with one unit of meta alloys. This thing you can find in Targoid barnacle sites or purchase in Daniel's progress in Maya system. Now, after being done with granny fiddling, there are two third-party tools that I'd recommend checking out for easier time in general engineering. ED Engineer Program and Inara.cz website. So ED Engineer, it's a program that reads your game profile and lists not only engineering recipes and tech broker stuff, but also displays how much of each material you have. So you can accurately set the so-called shopping list for materials you still need to find and gather for the set amount of things you want to create. This tool is an absolute treat and in fact it should be integrated in the game and that's how good it is. Of course it's only my opinion and it still has bugs, yes. But it's a massive help and comes highly recommended. As for Inara, the site of course has more than just engineering tools available, but I find myself often opening it to check specific details for engineering as well as requirements for it quite often. And of course, links for both things will be listed in the description, so go check them out. The sad truth about engineers is that some of them require certain unique commodities to be delivered to them before they agree to engineer anything. A good example is Didi, the neighborhood drunk. The crazy bitch provides the Galactic Pilots Federation population with the best shield booster upgrades, but to access her unique services not only your trade rank must be a merchant, but because she is also a massive alcoholic she asks you to supply her with massive quantities of Leviathan brandy. Now, commodity like this and a few other ones are found only in one place and you can only pick up a set amount, so you'll have to do multiple trips before you can unlock that engineer. So the best way to solve this is by the help of a friend, or a bunch of them, who be willing to pick up additional amount of this commodity and then just poop it out so you can collect it. But don't forget, you need to be on a wing for that, otherwise it will count as stealing. Uh, yep, yeah, that's how stupid the law system is in this game. Let's say you just started out with Horizons and you need materials, any materials. Well, if you're like me and you enjoy bounty hunting, then you're in luck, cause you can equip your ship as a collector limpent and just go do your usual thing while collecting stuff. Once you kill a ship, release your limpents to collect whatever there is to be collected and keep doing what you do. Slowly but surely you'll start to pick up some materials for some maybe lower level engineering, but still, it's something. Additionally, Rinsler and the top tier player group made a rather fun and amazing Discovery public. Healies for feelies. This method involves some bigger ships and healing beams, as you can see on the screen. Doing this, you'll collect all sorts of materials, and that includes grade fives. But hey, I too made a video about this, so go check it out in the description if you're interested to see how to perform this exactly. But okay, if combat is not your forte, there are other places you can go to collect a lot of decent materials. Dove's Hope has always been one of the more popular places with a very big selection of materials. And all you need is an SRV, time, patience and refuel for your SRV. Alternatively, there are some crashed anaconda sites found in the galaxy that do spawn some more specific materials, but nonetheless, they are very useful. So if you want to check out those, I've also created a video about that, so check the link in the description. Okay, but what about upgrades? You know, the things that you get by trading in those materials? Which is the best one? Answer? Well, 
It depends. Because of the niche builds and niche approach we all take, there's really no one best thing. Still, that said, for weapons, efficient modification has to be the best jack of all trades that really sacrifices nothing, making you wonder why weapon manufacturers just didn't automatically implement this modification in their products. I guess this is part of that personal narrative that developers keep talking about. Anyways, if you're not sure about what to get, just go with efficient upgrade for your weapon especially if you're talking about lasers and plasma accelerators. But what about other upgrades? What would be good aside from that? Well, sturdy upgrade tends to be quite useful too. In essence, it increases mass as a downside, but increases integrity as a benefit, and not only that, for different weapons is slightly different, but you can expect some armor piercing increase and thermal output decrease. So in my book, it's a rather good upgrade to choose too. But what about the opposite, lightweight? While it has some benefits, really this upgrade is most useful for racing and exploration ships, and even then on core internals, not weapons. Unless you want to make some sort of exploration ganker ship or something. Okay, and what about things you should avoid? Straight out of bat, I highly recommend against picking short-range upgrade for weapons. In short, haha, you gain more negatives than benefits. You are way better picking overcharge upgrade than this, in fact. Well, sure, short-range gives you the most damage increase. It also shortens your effective range, and unless you are ready, and more importantly, able to bury your nose up your opponent's ass, you might not even be able to do that damage. So yeah, damage fall off is a bitch. And there you go, a relatively short list of tips, tips that will come in handy and be good to know if you want to ever do even a small amount of engineering. Now do let me know if there are tips you'd like to see included, and maybe I might make another one like these, cause engineering, well, it's an in-depth thing, and to cover it all, you need more than 5 minutes. Still, if you found this helpful, do share it around as it would be helpful for everyone, after all. <laughs> oh god. Okay, well this is beautiful. Uh, so yeah, basically uh, position yourself behind me and we're gonna be making butt babies. Because that's apparently a thing that we're gonna do. Video demands it, so off we go. Well, that was some aggressive stuff. Okay, good. This is uh, this will be.